Since 2014, our country has been plagued by divisive forces. TMC is in Meghalaya with the mission to empower the people, uphold the ethnic cultures and traditions, celebrate the sacred land. To oust the proxy BJP government from Meghalaya, be the change, support TMC by calling on 96877-96877. The annual ceremony of the Crystal Gale Memorial Award 2022 was held at Rajbhavan Darbar Hall, Shillong on the 12th of August 2022 in commemoration of the fifth death anniversary of theatre artist late Crystal Gale Karnayor. The award ceremony was graced by former Indian Ambassador R. V. Wajri in the presence of Zonal Director Indian Council for Cultural Relations, Shillong, N. Muni Singh, the Deputy Secretary to the Governor Rajbhavan Shillong A. Lakyang, the Creative Director of Riti Academy of Visual Arts Shillong Rafael Wajri, besides others. Along with band members, a soulful tribute song was also presented by Dalariti Karnayor, who is the younger sister of late Crystal Gale Karnayor. <laughs> The welcome address was delivered by Rafael Wajri as he expressed gratitude to the Governor Satyapal Malik who could not attend the ceremony because of ill health. Wajri along with the art fraternity conveyed their wishes for the good health of the Governor. He emphasized on the need to set up an art institution in the state even as he reiterated the fact that it confirms with the mandate of the present national education policy. The audience uh, just remain in our minutes now. So coming back to what the Academy is doing right now, we are actively engaged in uh, visual arts, in all fields of visual art, in photography, in painting, in sculpture, in printmaking, and various other, everything, you know, in a um, mixed media or some, some kind of expression that is a little bit liberal also. So uh, that way we're trying to uh, cultivate ourselves and trying to relate with what is happening around the world also. How, 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 how the contemporary art, uh, you know, uh, develop and prevail as well in the world. The Crystal Gale Memorial Award 2022 was conferred upon Pai Bhakupar Karluki by the chief guest R. V. Wadri. Recalling his tenure as the ambassador in a few European countries, the chief guest R. V. Wadri said that the revolution in Europe during the different phases of history occurred because of the art movement in different expressions of music, visual arts, theater, and literature. He reiterated the fact that the Renaissance was one of the major art movements during the 14th century that had created tremendous impact and percolated across the globe. While lauding the effort of Riti Academy of Visual Arts, Wadri said that the indigenous conceptualization of art is essential to preserve the natural resources and biodiversity and therefore he urged upon the tribal people to assert more on the duties to conserve their land rather than to claim and demand for their rights. Here I thought that perhaps I must compliment the, the strength and fortitude of the family which had been able to convert a tragic incident into something meaningful for society. And particularly because 
of the kind of interest and desire which Christopher Gale had to promote art. So this is really great in the part. And I thought perhaps that the, the tree which was responsible for what happened to her, she overlived that tree of posterity, in fact, of this, what you are doing by instituting an award in her name. So I compliment the family and all those who are involved in it. Since you are especially using this word indigenous conceptualization. Now, the other day, the 9th of August, we celebrated the, the International Day of World's Indigenous Schools. Now, through the United Nations, we have had UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Peoples. We have had the UN Declarations on Rights and of Indigenous People. Now, I just want to stress more on the philosophy and significance of all this, which is happening. Uh, because it's very important that the whole concept of being indigenous is art and literature is one way to express it and uh, especially because what is what is important about being indigenous I, I, I have I've seen the tribes in Africa I've seen the tribes in Latin America and this identification with land is very, very strong and it's equal in our part. So I look at it and I think about it. I see where do we stand here as far as land identification is concerned, as far as the natural resources identification is concerned. Where do we stand? Now, apart from that, it's like biodiversity itself. 